Next point. The Bible is too primitive for modern society to use. And if you're like me, you struggle with that too. How can we take the, the Bible, it's an old culture, how can we find application in that? And it sounds good, the Bible is too primitive for modern society, so we've got to advance in our thinking and, and progress. Realizing this, please. That coming out of the, the 1500s, going back to, fifth, let's just say 1500, science in the 1500s was the alchemist, for example. Alchemistry. It was a mixture of magic and potions and, and, and some kind of chemistry and just some, you know, hard tries. They, 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 they trusted magic as much as they trusted gravity. They, they didn't know. That was, that was science. This was called, this was called the Dark Ages. This was when the, the Bible, for example, was locked up. This old Bible wasn't, people in Europe weren't allowed to read the Bible because it was only for the clergy, the trained. You had to have a license to have a Bible. You had to have a permit to teach the Bible. And when you did teach it, much of the teaching was done in Latin. To English-speaking people or German-speaking people, you'd speak to them in Latin. It'd be like me speaking some foreign language night, and you coming here and trying to find some kind of sense of it. So you'd light a candle and, and, and say a chant or something and feel like, well, I did the best I could. That's all you knew. At this point, the Reformation hits. Martin Luther, the whole idea of William Tyndale, and they began to risk their lives to bring the Bible to the people. Get it out of the clergy, get it out of the church, and get it to the people. Get it in their language so they can process this. I believe it. I believe very firmly in that. I think that is the hope of our nation. I think that's the hope of the church as it is today. Is when this word gets to the people. It's like mixing gas and, 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 and fire. I mean, it, something's going... It has to happen. When you take a person who is saved with the presence of the Holy Spirit and you infuse into them the truth of the written word of God, I don't know what will happen, but it will be good. Do you understand what I said? It's not a matter of trying to tell you how to live your life, go through all these steps, do these things, follow the clergy. It's a matter of the clergy taking the word of God and putting it into the engine of the church and watching it explode and see what happens. Well, that's what happened here. And what came out of the Reformation was these things, for example. Science began to advance. They began to realize, well, this, this thing, if God created everything, there must be order. And instead of looking for magic and, and some kind of foreign po potion or something, they began to look for patterns. And they, they hadn't even discovered germs yet. You understand? I mean, there are so many things that, once again, our elementary kids understand that the great scientists of the 1500s in the Dark Ages had no clue about. They tried to make a little potion, say a little prayer, and, and sprinkle something on. Didn't work. They tried something, or maybe it did work, and that really confused them. Science began to change. Another thing that came out of this, you may know this, you may not, democracy. One of the people, uh, John Whitfield, who was one of the reformers, early reformers, some of his writings were about democracy were about the idea that even the king has to be under the law. That nobody is above the law. That everybody has to function under a certain level of morality. It was the, it was the foundation of democracy. That everybody's got a voice, everybody's important, and, and from the Reformation came democracy. We go on from there. We got economy. How economies work. The Puritans, the whole idea of what they did. There's several things we can go on here. In other words, watch and read the statement again. It sounds really advanced. The Bible is too primitive for modern society to use. Excuse me. Western society as you know it is based on Scripture. It's based on the revelation of Scripture that produced what we call the modern Western culture. It came from... Now watch. On this side of it, that's why we call it postmodern culture. On this side of it, we're saying, oh, the Bible's too old. Now just figure this out. If we had the Bible locked up in the Middle Ages and it produced the Dark Ages, we then give the Bible to people to read and process and wherever you're at in life. That's why I don't like the whole clergy thing. If you're an economist, read the Bible. What did you understand? Thank you, we'll use that. If you're into government and politics, read the Bible. How do you govern people? Thank you, we'll use that. If you're a scientist, none of these people are clergy. These people are common people 
who have callings and gifts and personalities given from God, that the Word of God goes in and changes the way they view the world and changes history. Well, let's just say we pull this away from the people, convince all these people it's too old, it's archaic, don't go to the Bible. Let's begin to look for truth in the modern world. We're going to remove the scriptures. Where are we heading? Back to the Dark Ages. You say, well, that's, now it's a, that's a stretch. That's hard to believe that that would ever happen to us. That's right, we do have computers now and nothing can stop us. But if you ever have read the end of the Bible, Revelation, there's nothing darker than Revelation. You're talking about human extinction. You're weeks away from human extinction, except the truth itself comes back to the earth. Jesus Christ himself returns, and has written on him, he is the word of truth itself. He returns and saves us from human extinction. In other words, history is surrounded with the word of God. Our modern culture is based on the word of God. So that is a completely false statement. The Bible is too primitive for modern society. Modern society is built on the scriptures. 